All right, guys, I've been wanting to review this one for a while. Finally, I have it in my hands. I've been testing it out. I've had it for a while, and I'm really, really enjoying it. It's Zoologist Perfume's latest fragrance, Chipmunk, a nutty one, a nutty fragrance, and I've got the whole scoop on this one for you today. So if you want to find out about the latest Zoologist Perfume's fragrance, Chipmunk, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. Yes, I've got all the scoop for you on Chipmunk. Chipmunk is the latest animal to join the Zoologist Perfumes you know, fragrances catalog. And it's an animal that I really enjoy. There's cartoon characters behind this particular animal and I really think they're fun little animals. They could be a little aggressive, but that's what makes them so cute and uh, fun and you know, a little quirky. But uh, this one I actually sampled uh, initially last summer. It was put out, I think it was put out early uh, at Tiger Lily Perfumery and and when as soon as I smelled it I was like wow this is actually really really great it's nutty I could smell the nuts in the the fragrance but it's also very very woody and also kind of uh, perfectly timed for launch in the fall it's kind of a very autumn uh, inspired or autumn like smelling uh, fragrance because you know in the end you think of nuts, uh, trees, and you know the, the autumn when all this stuff kind of you know goes hand in hand. When uh, these little animals or creatures are kind of like going after you know the nuts that they're trying to you know gather and things like that. So I think it's a great inspiration. It's a great fragrance. One of my favorite fragrances from uh, Zoologist Perfumes. And I have a little bit of a challenging time with some of the fragrances uh, from Zoologist Perfumes. I find them uh, very artistic, which is really, really cool, but a little challenging to wear. But I've got my favorites from this house. B is still my favorite fragrance from this house. I love it because it's all very honeyed gourmand. But this one's actually pretty close behind B. It's really that good. I mean, if you like my taste, and that's the reason you watch my channel, you definitely have to, ch you know, sample this one. But there are a few others that I like from Zoologist Perfumes, like Squid, Camel, Elephant. Those are all great fragrances for me. And I'm also waiting to see what else um, uh, Zoologist Perfumes launch. But either way... I'll let you know all about Chipmunk, but before I do, if this is your first time tuning into the channel and you still haven't subscribed, please do click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so that you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So Zoologist Perfumes Chipmunk is a 2021 launch. It comes in X-ray de parfum concentration at 18%. 60 milliliter bottle like this sells for $165 and the perfumer is Pia Long. Now Pia Long, I don't know who she is, but she's done a great job here. Uh, uh, capturing the environment of the chipmunk and again uh, it's a cute animal I really love these little creatures and what uh, Zoologist perfumes and Pia Long have given us is something that's really great and wearable so chipmunk features notes of quince pink pepper red mandarin cardamom nutmeg for top notes heart notes features chamomile hazelnut fir balsam absolute oak absolute earthy notes and finally in the base notes we've got cedarwood Amaris, patchouli, vetiver, benzoin resin, apopanax, guyac wood, and animalic notes. So when I say animalic notes, um, Zoologist Perfumes does not use all natural animalic notes. They're uh, all synthetic. So just to make sure you guys are all aware of uh, the Zoologist Perfumes uh, fragrances. But what's this one all about? So as soon as you spray it, you know, it's it's intense. Uh, it's a very, very complex fragrance. And I feel like a lot of the fragrances from Zoologist Perfumes, in fact, most of them are very, very complex. Lots of stuff happens with the fragrances, including in the top notes and the heart notes and also in the base notes. But the fragrance starts off spicy, right? It starts off spicy, but there is that quince note. And I, I recently mentioned in a video a couple weeks ago, I said quince is a fruit that doesn't really appear in fragrances much. And here we have quince in this particular fragrance. Quince is a fruit that I've kind of grown up with. It's a kind of a cross between an apple and a pear, but it has one of the most amazing fragrances. It's a great smell. It smells so fragrant and floral, the actual fruit, especially when it's ripe. But you can't eat the stuff, you have to cook it. You do experience that here. It's what I'm getting the sweetness from along with the mandarin here because it's all spicy up top with that sweet fruitiness uh, and the, the mandarin here up top as well. And the quince to me acts like a, like a jam of some kind. Um, so 
Um, that's what I'm used to with the quince, and that's the experience I get here with this one. But immediately, uh, in the heart notes, you're getting a lot of the hazelnuts. It's a very nutty fragrance overall. So the heart notes is kind of bleeding into the top notes because there's so much hazelnuts here, you're experiencing uh, the hazelnuts here. So it's very, very nutty. Uh, and it's an appropriate type of a nut because they're, you know, tiny little round nuts that this, these um, chipmunks are always gathering and things like that. But you're experiencing the chamomile here. There's a little bit of a minerally experience with this fragrance, along with the fir balsam, a little aromatic woody touches. And then of course, oak comes in as well. Oak is definitely prominent here, along with the earthy notes. And er it makes sense, earthy notes, because these chipmunks are digging up the, the nuts that have fallen down into the earth. So that makes sense that this particular type of a note is featured here in the heart notes. It's a very, very complex uh, experience, but for me, uh, you're definitely experiencing, uh, experiencing a lot of the hazelnuts along with the, the chamomile. But what happens with the fragrance as it's drying down and the base notes is it becomes woody and also ambery because you have these resinous notes like benzoin and a poppinax and then also the amorous note that comes in. So it's kind of like a, a fusion of uh, woods and amber resin touches together which creates a kind of a syrupy mixture of woods together that's kind of what i'm getting here i'm still picking up quince quince is pretty prominent here but i think uh it kind of like transitions into of course the hazelnuts in the heart and of course it becomes kind of amber resinous so perhaps it does wear off but definitely i'm experiencing the quince throughout the life of uh, the fragrance. It's not as potent as the hazelnuts, which is pretty much what's running the show. And again, as I said, this is a great release from this house. It's not full-on gourmand, uh, but they're light gourmandy touches. It's mostly woody and then resinous ambery at the same time with light kind of, a, you know, I would say light gourmand touches because the quince and the hazelnuts together kind of like fall, uh, you know, fruit, dried fruits and or jammy fruits and nuts uh, kind of a combo is uh, what the, you get with this one. So it's a great release. It's really, really delicious to wear. Very, very long lasting. Uh, this is Exile de Parfum and even though it's 18% for me, I had sprayed it several times on me on a shirt. The next day I, I smelled it off of that shirt again because it lingers on and then stays on. The only thing with this one one is it's not necessarily overly loud like it's not a screamer um, it's long lasting but it doesn't have the highest or the the most uh, intense projection and things like that but definitely excellent excellent longevity with this one a lot of the fragrances from this house house do last a long time some are screamers this one doesn't tend to be and of course it also wears a little powdery on me as well again overall a great release a wonderful um uh, fragrance inspired by this most amazing little creature that runs around and collects nuts and things like that. So a great inspiration for a great little creature, as I said. So uh, Zoologist Perfumes Chipmunk. Uh, if you haven't checked this one out yet, please do. Uh, I'm actually anticipating the next releases from this house uh, because it's exciting to see what animal is going to come next and what they've done with that fragrance with the inspiration of the environment for that animal. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on Chipmunk, if you've sampled it, if you like it, and what are your thoughts about this collection of fragrances from Zoologist Perfumes and, uh, you know, all the different animals and things like that. Put some comments down below. Either way, guys, thanks so much for watching today's review for Zoologist Perfumes Chipmunk. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.